Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Keegan. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to hit that, sub that subscribe button, and if you have any opinions you'd like to share, leave them down in the comments below. Welcome to the first episode of Suggestion Week, where I take in suggestions from the comments, and I do reviews on whatever music you tell me to review. Before we get into Suggestion Week, I like to lay down a few little ground rules. This will not be a daily series, not uh, once every two days, not even once every four days. This will probably be weekly, because... I sort of want to keep in track with the new stuff that comes out. And yeah, just if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll get into those as soon as I can. Today's suggestion was taken in by Blue96. Go check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in, in the description below. Bruno Mars is here with his new, newest album, 24 Karat Magic. Bruno Mars' latest work ever since his 2012 album, Unorthodox Jukebox, which I enjoyed quite a bit, I thought. It was really good. However, he returns to 2016 a little bit differently. He's going back, sort of, into the, uh, into the 80s, 70s genre of synth funk. Let's get this started with naming the singles that dropped with the album. We'll start with 24 Karat Magic, the title track, which I think is so irresistibly fun and so catchy. I think the only person who would hate this track is someone who, I don't know, hates having a good time. And it's just, it's so... Um, it's it's incredible. There's so many good the uh, the, the synth the synth lead and Bruno Mars' vocals are so charismatic and they and they sound really and they sound really nice over the synth lead. Then you have Versace on the floor, which is the main slow jam on the album, which I think is executed perfectly. Bruno Mars' almost sort of yelling vocals on the pre-chorus sound amazing. And then you had the last single which was released after the album came out, that's what I like. Which I think, it's it's really smooth, it's really, it's really sexy, really smooth, this is giving, describing what the lover, descri describing spoiling your lover with the finer riches of life, it's, it's nice, it's really nice. As I mentioned before, this album sort of goes back to music that was like 80 cents, I thought, um, that's what, that, that's what this album sort of goes back to. This album is a tight 30 minutes and about 9 tracks, so he doesn't really leave much room to fail here. Every song has to be huge, otherwise the album's gonna flop. You've got songs like Perm on the album, which I thought was amazing. It's probably one of my favorite songs on the album. It's so, again, Bruno Mars is yelling, sort of, uh, sort of yelling vocals on, on the, on the verses. They sound incredible with the, with the huge lead up. Then you've got songs like Calling All My Lovelies, which is um another slow jam. It's got that but do 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 it's 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 really reminiscent of eighties synth pop and of how Bruno Mars is calling all his lovelies and then at the end you have this little skit of um a voicemail by Halle Berry. I thought that was really cool. Then you've got songs like Straight Up and Down, which uh it that one wasn't really my sort of take taste it sort of it didn't that was a little bit different of a slow jam I didn't think it was as good it, it was just I don't know I, I just sort of felt a little bit different and different about it the track too good to say goodbye is an epic closer I thought it was probably the perfect closer um, for the album it was beautiful it was well well performed and it was so smooth and clean cut I thought it was great overall I think Bruno Mars came back with probably his best album yet if he if he keeps going like this, um, I think he's got a great, I think he's going to pave the pave the way for a, a great number of years in the pop genre. Well, you guys, I think that's going to do it for this album review. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review. Take care.